Once again, the tiny Nordic island of Iceland is in the global spotlight. Iceland's Prime Minister Sigmund David Gunnlaugsson has become the first casualty of the so-called Panama Papers into offshore companies. The revelation that he used to partly own an offshore company, which is now totally controlled by his wife, led to a huge outcry on the island of 320,000 people, and some of the biggest protests in Iceland's history took place on Monday. On Tuesday, a day of high drama followed. First of all, Mr. Gunnlaugsson asked the president to dissolve the parliament. The president then refused, with both men later effectively accusing each other of lying. Then Mr. Gunnlaugsson's deputy said that the prime minister was resigning. Just a few hours later, in a message to foreign journalists, a government spokesman said Mr. Gunnlaugsson hadn't in fact resigned, but was merely stepping aside as Prime Minister for an unspecified amount of time. All of this is bringing up bad memories for Icelanders. In 2008, the three biggest banks collapsed, bringing global scrutiny onto the island. And in the aftermath of that, under the so-called pots and pans revolution they kicked out the previous centre-right prime minister. Now many in Iceland hope that the next government, whenever it's formed and with whichever parties, can rebuild trust and take Iceland out of the spotlight. Richard Milne, Financial Times.